Venice and Charlotte both just one win away from playing for the ultimate prize high school football can deliver a state championship. To do so, they had to each beat high profile South Florida rich teams in winning tradition. We start in Fort Lauderdale. Venice in the 7A state final against St. Thomas Aquinas. The Raiders wasted no time scoring on their first drive. Running back Michael Epstein he runs it in for 6-7-0 STA with a point after later. Couple drives after that. It's Epstein again. 14-0 Raiders imposing their will. Venice would make something happen in the first half. Bryce Carpenter finds Javon Hiley for the touchdown. And shortly thereafter, Matt LaRoche punches it, punches it in on a two-point conversion. That makes it 28-8 Raiders, but Aquinas packed on more points off Venice turnovers, and it shortly became a runaway. St. Thomas Aquinas overpowers the Indians 46-8, ending their season. John Peacock after the game. We didn't, we didn't have a chance from the start, but, you know, kids, you know, we, we prepared hard and uh, the kids fought hard. Um, it's tough when you're playing against the stack deck. It was a tough night, but, you know, proud of these kids, you know, they, they worked hard all year long. Um, yeah, There's some bright spots, you know, Javon did some good things. Uh, you know, Bryce did some good things. And, you know, it was tough stuff. And, I mean, because that D-line, I mean, when you have, you have nine guys that have uh, Power 5 conference offers playing D-line, yeah, it makes it kind of tough. Tarpons hosting Miami Carroll City in the fishbowl for the 6A state semifinal. D. Hicks, quarterback for the Tarpons, takes the keeper around to the outside, but is stopped handily by that swarming Chiefs defense. Just no room to wiggle around there. Carroll City running back Cameron Davis takes the direct snap for the short yardage TD, giving them the first points of the game. Chiefs on the board, and they weren't done. Tarpons, Defonse Price running back, trying to find a little opening. He does for a nice solid run. But that was about all the offense Charlotte could muster in this game. A very limited performance from them. Later, Terrence Horn Jr. for the Chiefs goes on a sweep, finds a hole to work with, and he scores a 60-yard touchdown. Charlotte gets speared by the Chiefs 39-0. A tough end to a wonderful season for Charlotte. So Grant, obviously just uh, very uh, tough to watch a little bit at yeah. some of these games tonight and as they're rolling in watching. But uh, I commend both of these programs and our coverage uh, from our guys out there, both uh, Lyndon Blake, uh, ben Bobic, Crystal Knowles, and our uh, new shooter, PJ, as well. Justin yeah. out there doing a great job, so I appreciate their hard work as well. And uh, But, yeah, congrats again to Venice and Charlotte. Certainly memorable years for them, for the programs to get to this far. Uh, the seniors went out with a heck of a season, too. On to prep basketball now? Yep, and a heck of a lot more, too. That's so right. There's still plenty of sports to talk about. Yes. Have a great weekend, everybody.